and I was I, I was shocked. They were brand new, never been driven. And they had bought them and just let them sit in the field. I said, God, give me what I should bid on these vans in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to do it. And give me the ones you've given me in Jesus' name. And I thank you for them now in the name of Jesus. Now, we believe in God, and I want somebody to believe God with me. And if you're that individual that's going to believe with me, let's take a stand right now and receive those vehicles. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to put them out there and run them in the street. I'm going to run them to pick people up, take them shopping. I'm going to put them to, to, to Medicaid, Medicare. I'm going, to, I'm going to take them out everywhere. Why? Because I'm mainly I'm going to be taking them to bring souls to church. Because <clears throat> they got seats all the way through 16 seats. I say, God, I can take every, every, uh, I would say these big senior citizen high rise, I can go by and pick up everybody. I like to see 15 of them, 10 of them parked down the street and bring them in by the droves. You mean you would pick people up at church? Yes, I would, whole neighborhoods. I just believe God. Can you believe God? Let's believe God. Sometimes you may look at an impossible situation and say, you can't do that. The devil's a liar. I can do all things. I can do any things. I believe God. I believe God for the saving of multitudes of souls. In Jesus' name, area code 313-838-1035. That's for salvation. That's for healing. That's for deliverance. Who believes God? Not if you believe anything. No, no, the devil is a lie. I believe God in Jesus. Name. All I want you to do is agree with me. Because when I when I get to having faith and believe in God for something, it always comes to bad. All right, area code 313-838-1035. We'll take our next call. There must be screening calls. No callers yet? All right. Well, somebody believe God. I can't be the only one. I'm a firm believer that God can do anything. I've been believing like this for years. And I've seen God move mountains. I've seen God open doors. I've seen God. You know something? Let me tell y'all something. When I got in this building, first thing is first, I had people with me. They thought I had lost my mind when I got into this big building. They really, really thought I had lost it totally. Some of them said, what are you going to do with this? This is a disaster. All right? When they start saying that, I just start laughing. I didn't care. All I could see and hear is what God had said to me. And I took up that cross and I began to believe God. I could not hear what other people were saying. I couldn't see what other people were saying. I just launched out into the deep to take up a draft. And when I got to working, they couldn't stop me. I kept on believing God. Now God want to do something with your faith. All right, we'll take our next call. Shirley from Detroit. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, Bishop. Good morning, Gloria, Cheryl, Rita, Mother Allen, and the family of God. I'm standing in the gap, making up the hedge. I join my faith with your beloved servant, Bishop Kenneth L. Tate. According to his word, Matthew 18, 19, if two shall touch and agree, it shall be established. Today, I'm believing God for souls. I'm here to serve your vision and establish your kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Jehovah Sabbath, the Lord of heaven, will always fulfill his purpose, even when the host of his earthly people fail. Jehovah Sabbath, the Lord of army, I invite your presence into this prayer. Let your anointing penetrate the airwaves. Somebody needs you this morning, Lord. I'm speaking to the 800,000 people that are without a paycheck, waiting on our government to put the people into its first and end the government shutdown. 
some of them are growing weary and well-doing, Galatians 6, 9. Somebody's depressed, spirits of anger, unforgiveness, fear, doubt, discouragement, and low self-esteem fall in the name of Jesus. Your breakthrough is coming, Deuteronomy 1, 21. When things look bad to God, look to God, not to man or the government. God is your source. He is faithful to those that are committed, believe, and will accomplish his will. Uh, it may be extended for generations like it was for the two spies, Caleb and Joshua, who followed God wholeheartedly. Caleb had a different attitude. He said, we should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. The Lord said, I will bring him into the promised land and his descendants will inherit it. Numbers 14, 24. Just because the devil told you it was over, it doesn't mean he's going to stop trying to get you to doubt or be discouraged. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness, Ephesians 6, 12. His job is to get you to abort your purpose. Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up, Matthew 15, 13. God expects us to use our gifts and talents to accomplish his will. The promise of God is his holy nation, his church, 1 Peter 2, 9. Father, I surrender all. I decree and declare miracles, signs, wonders, salvation, healing, and deliverance for all those who believe. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless amen. you and your family, Bishop. God bless you too. Amen. I give God the praise for that. I believe God. I believe, I believe, I believe. Let's take our next caller. Talisa from Detroit. Good morning, Pastor Kate. Good morning. Um, I believe in God for my brothers. I believe in God for my sisters. I believe in God for my children. Alisa, Martel, Chris, and Mary. I, I believe in God for my grandbabies. I just believe in God, period. That every, I, I can't do nothing without him in my life. And I, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for that. We believe God and we agree with your whole family that God is rescuing them, delivering them, and saving them. Now, in Jesus' name, we'll take our next call. Amen. Teacher from Detroit. God bless you. Good morning, Apostle Tate, and blessing everyone's prayer that came on before me. And asking, as always, I get ready to be a soldier in the field of education to go forward. There is a lot of old saying called that going on in the building where I'm at. And right now it's blunted at me. And whenever I have someone blunting or blunting me directed at you, it's a lot of hatred because there are people around the world that go on their job and do their job. Example, like the military people, what they're going through now, what mm -hmm. she just said. Mm -hmm. I go on my job and I do my job. Uh, and there's a lot of stoppage because my doing my job is embarrassing the people and revealing what they're doing. Teachers ask you for reveal, shut down, and expose anything that come up against me or people like myself because we are true soldiers in the army of the Lord. And I ask for this prayer to go forward for me today in the building and every day for the next six months and thereafter because it's not going to get any better with what's going on until God says so. In Jesus' name, I ask for prayer. That's in my right. Situation. That's right. And you will see it. And on top of that, for those that won't believe, they're going to have difficulties because God will make a believer out of you. You think you ain't things going to get better? You think this world is going to get better? You think the economy is going to get better? No. Greed has hit the land. A destabilization has come on the whole country, even down to what you're teaching as a curriculum to the children. Children get bored very easy. We had over a million kids drop out of school because the curriculum was so bad in the United States. We're going to have to come back and say, devil, you're a liar. 
in the name of Jesus. You may entertain them with these natural things, but we're going to believe for these spiritual things to come to pass. The manifestation of the God that we serve right now in Jesus' name, we decree for education to be education. And they stop playing with the colleges. Let people go forth in their purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I thank you. And I put myself and Mrs. Allen, my coach teacher, my ASL American Sign Language teacher, Miss Eddie, on the mantle of prayer, successful in God. Keep opening doors and protecting us as we go forth. Because I'm in the battle to win. Because I know who's going to win this baseball game. In Jesus' name. Amen. And it is so. Prayer, and I thank God for that right now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Caller from Oakland County. Praise the Lord. I agree. I agree. I agree. Amen. Amen. And amen. I'm in agreement with you. I'm in agreement with the sister who was just on and the others. So I agree in Jesus' name. And thank God for your agreement right now. By the Spirit of the Most High God, we agree with you. And the breaker's anointing has come. And we thank God for the Spirit of God that's blessing you right now. Thank you for agreeing with us. Thank you for believing God with us. Thank you for standing with us. We agree. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. we we'll take our next caller. Montine from Canton. Good morning, Montine. It's a blessing to hear your voice, Pastor Tate. You sound so joyful all the time, even in the midst of all your suffering. So I thank God for that. Um, also, I believe God, for with God all things are possible with all my heart, mind, body, and soul. And I was trying to get through a few nights ago, um, and I couldn't get through um, when you were offering us to accept the heavenly dew of grace, the rain fall from heaven, so I did it anyway, but I'm doing it retroactively with you right now live too, and also um, there was another, the right sacrifice you were asking yes. us to accept, and I accept that now retroactively too. I love how the Holy Spirit, you are so blessed and anointed 